What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Yeah, we're totally on Mac OS. Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, we're not. We're not on Mac OS, by the way. We're actually on Windows. And uh, if I just go show taskbar, it's right there, as you can see. This is a program on Steam uh, that I paid five bucks for. Uh, it is called Doc Finder. What this program does initially is it turns this Windows 11 into uh, basically a Mac OS emulator. It just it gives you the GE the UI of Mac OS. So there's a restart button in case it gets all bugged out like this. All right, sure. so it has the ability to of course have a global menu. It doesn't work on everything, but the stuff that it does work is pretty good. You can adjust blur intensity individually of almost everything, uh, which is nice. There's even custom blur for uh, this here. You can change it to the right. You can change it to the left. You can, of course, put it back on the bottom where it belongs. And if any of you put it on the left or the right, you are just bad. <laughs> Not to be mean or anything. Uh, you can control every aspect of what's up here. So if you don't want to show the volume, you don't get to see the volume. And honestly, I don't see a point in seeing the volume considering we have this cute little thing, which uh, lets us brighten our display, lower our display, you know, airplane mode, projection, Wi-Fi on, Bluetooth, so on, and sound. Even when we open up Cider. Yes, that was Cider. Haha, <laughs> I had you fooled you'll notice that what we're playing is going to end up popping up in here and we can actually control it from here as well i think it's going to pop up in here are you going to do it yeah it's right there so i can hit play and this button i can force it forward it does get stuck sometimes so it's not perfect yet by the way if you haven't heard this album by lights yet it is honestly one of her best albums in a very long time she did an amazing job it has workshop content. So if I go and I actually unlock this like that, uh, what we can do is we can head here. I'm just gonna click it and you can head to workshop. And if you install, where is it? I believe I haven't, st where, where can I see it? Uh, there's Catalina doc theme. Uh, there's a Windows 11 theme. This is the one that I used. It's called Monterey. So basically just subscribe and uh, It'll automatically install and you're good to go there's also different versions of wallpapers and stuff like that and I, this is honestly made me not miss mac os because i'm a hackintosher through and through right uh i enjoy hackintoshing it's it's like me giving the middle finger to apple and this is just as beautiful this just feels so nice you know to have a proper interface because the windows 11 interface is cool i like it but I would like it more if it had a dock. <laughs> I mean, it technically does have a dock. It, its taskbar now acts like a dock. It renders like a dock. It moves like a dock. But it's still not a dock. You know, a dock expands when you add icons to it. And if you dockify the taskbar, there is a limit and it will do a cutoff thing. So with this, if you want to add stuff in here, you're going to have to find the .exe or the ink file and just drag and drop it all here. So if we go here, pretty much if I wanted to add, I forgot, I can't. So I'm just going to drag one at a time like this. Just drag them in. I don't need that one or Windows tools. I mean, I can even add in Arch Linux, Discord. So yeah, this, this is all the stuff that I have, right? So I can add in that. Uh, that's about all I want to add in here and I hit okay right and it's just gonna it's gonna add them all in automatically so that's how you use that now um, there is one problem on Mac OS the icons are not on that side they're actually on the other side so that kind of sucks and I kind of wish that they would that this would activate and move them over automatically okay now, there's not much else to talk about this. This thing is just beautiful. There is no other way to put it. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Dormant. I love that. I've come to bargain, Dormammu. That's what it reminds me of. The temperature probes are not always right, because right now I am holding my hand to the bottom of my laptop. It is not 74 or 73C. It is actually... 
according to this, me not burning my hands, it's probably about a good 45 Celsius. So not bad at all. It's, it's warm, but it's not as warm as it says. But the GPU is always dead on. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I wanted to show this to you. You'll find a direct link to it in the description below. Um, this used to be an open source project, but unfortunately now it's not. But it is worth paying the $5 for. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video. And I'm out.